Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and today we're talking about iOS 16 lock screen widgets. One of the biggest new features of iOS 16 which is really interesting and of course it has a lot of interest on it and of course a lot of apps are being updated and new apps are being released with support for iOS 16 lock screen widgets. So in this video, I will show you guys some of the best lock screen widgets that you can get on your iPhone running iOS 16. Before I get into all that, I just want to ask you guys for a really quick favor. Most of you guys that are watching my videos are currently not subscribed to the channel. So if you're watching the videos and you like them, please make sure to subscribe. It really helps out a lot. And we're starting things off with all my batteries. Now this is really interesting app. It allows you to keep track of all the batteries of your iOS devices as long as you have them on your Apple ID. So all you have to do is just install this app on any device that you want to track and then you can track all of your batteries and now you can have them on your lock screen with widgets so here i have my iphone my airpods my apple watch and my macbook as well so we have different designs here so if you just go to the to customize here and you go to the widgets panel you will be able to add the batteries from this app and you will have these two designs of course you just add them here and you're good to go but if you want to switch your devices you can tap on either one of them and choose which device you want to just display on the spot so if you have more than four devices you can change them here and of course you can also rearrange them as well next up is short flow this is very useful short flow will allow you to open apps directly from the lock screen but also open links from the lock screen of your device so here i have three different icons we have imessage podcast and then we have a link here so i tap there it just takes me right here to the link which is super cool now if you go into the app what you can do here is choose one of the presets course different apps to have the ability to launch from the lock screen or you can choose a shortcut so just put the name of the shortcut here you must exactly match the name of the shortcut that you have on the shortcuts app and then also you have url just simply paste any url you want and you will be able to actually open it from the lock screen of your device so you will have four different spots if you want to have more then you will have to pay the pro version but you have four different spots to choose whatever you want to launch directly from your lock screen next up is widget spacer now this one is really interesting it allows us to add blank widgets so that you can space your current widgets the way you like so you can see right here i have two widgets that i have added now normally these would be right here in the middle but i have one here and one here but there are also two different widgets from widget space or right there in the middle so you can see right there we have two different widgets but they're just blank and they won't show anything they will just keep the space between your two or more different widgets next up is lock view it allows us to open apps directly from the lock screen of your device now there are a lot of app launches currently on the app store that allow you to do this but this one is totally free and i really really like it you just tap on an icon and you can directly go into the app that you want directly from your lock screen if you go into the app it's super simple to use all you have to do is tap on create new widget and just select the app that you want to create there and once you have done that you can customize the icon if you want to or you can just leave the stock icon and you're good to go all you have to do now is head onto the lock screen and add your apps to the lock screen you can add the smaller icons or the bigger one just like this one right here now this one right here is really interesting you can actually have animated widgets on the lock screen of your iphone let's take a look at this how cool is this now this is called top widgets now, this is a well, very well known app which you can download also to add home screen widgets but in this case we're talking about lock screen widgets and you can see what it offers here so we'll have different gifts and you can even load ones from here that you can add to the lock screen of your iphone and they actually are pretty pretty cool now if you go back here we'll have other things as well so if we go under home and go to lock screen you will have here a lot of different widgets that you can actually add to the lock screen so you will have here the circle ones which show you the disc maybe a note or your battery then you will have right here 
these ones the dynamic ones which are really interesting you will have bigger ones with of course a lot of different information this one is one of my favorite where you can have all in one your storage your device and of course your steps and the battery as well now what you need to do here is when you choose one of the widgets you need to tap on save here and once you have done that then you can go ahead and add it to the lock screen so if you just want to add it what you need to do is just tap on one of the widgets and here can choose which one you want to have and from here of course you can change it just like that cpu x is the next widget for this video it allows you to have all kinds of different information regarding your device right on the lock screen of your device so what you have here you can see we have two different widgets we have one with all the different device information then we have here one for the network so we have the wi-fi and we have the seller usage right there now it offers quite a few different widgets so if we go to customize here and let's find cpu x you can see all the different widgets that it offers so you will have the traffic statistics statistics right here then you will have hardware you have all the different information regarding your device and you have device storage so small and big widget then you will have your health right there you have the clock and then you will have also a launcher which allows to launch apps from the lock screen pretty cool a bunch of different widgets this is actually one of the few apps that offers quite a ton of different widgets not just one or two and it's really really useful music harbor is up next this is an older app but now it has been a bit updated to support lock screen widgets if you like music and you want to keep track of all the new music of course of your favorite artists then you can have now that on the lock screen of your iphone so here we have two different widgets from the app you can see the next release is right there and it shows a summary right there so let's just find this and let's see what it has to offer so if we go right here we have upcoming releases so you have small and bigger widget then you have the stats right there and you have the latest releases so you have two different modes of widgets that you can add to the lock screen next up is widget smith now this is a very popular app it was popular back with ios 14 home screen widgets now it has been updated and it offers lock screen widgets as well so here we have a few of those we have a full calendar right here we have the steps and then we have that circle right there which actually displays a photo album which is really cool if you go into the app you will have the option to switch from home screen to lock screen and then right here we'll have all the different formats of widgets that ios 16 offers so you will have the inline widget right there you have the circle ones and then you will have the bigger ones so you basically choose one of these or just add a new one and then you can choose what you want to display on that widget simply choose whatever you want you can display a photo you can display a photo album maybe a symbol or just leave it blank then you will have maybe time weather you will have other things right here step counting and all that reminders anything you can choose right here and just go ahead and add them to right there to one of your widgets you can go to theme here you can choose standard solid or whatever you want and of course you will have the font as well you can switch the font here if you want to once you're done with that you tap save and then you will be able to actually pick the one that you have created directly from the lock screen next up is speedy now speedy is an app that lets you make calls FaceTime calls and send messages directly from the lock screen. So the way it works is really great. It allows us to actually choose what you want to do with a contact. So if you just go ahead and add a contact right here, so you can see I have these contacts, I can tap on it and choose what I want to do. So on that widget, I can choose if I want to WhatsApp message that contact or call it or send an I message. So whatever action you choose, that will be the action of that widget. It doesn't just take you to the contacts card of that widget, which is really cool. Of course, you add these contacts on the app from your contacts list and then you will have them there and you can just pick whichever one of the actions you want to make from the lock screen. So you can see we have three different ones right here. We have Telegram message iMessage and FaceTime as well. The next widget is called simply lock screen and it offers a bunch of different widgets to add to the lock screen of your device. So here we have a few examples. So we have a bigger one with the date and the battery percentage. Then we have a step count and then we have that battery icon. If you go into the app right here, we'll be able to actually pick between different widgets. So you can see we have time, we have date, 
we have weather here we have battery just pick anything you want you can see some really really cool widgets that you can use from this app so when you choose one of those just tap on set widget tap on done and you're good to go then once you go to the lock screen of your device and you go to customize it you can pick the widget from here so you tap on it and you just choose the battery or whatever you have actually added from the app and it will display it right on your lock screen the next app for the video is called lock notes now lock notes allows to have a note on your lock screen like this one right here or have another widget which allows you to take a note directly from the lock screen so all you have to do when you need to take a quick note you just tap on that right there and you go straight into the app and from here you can just go ahead and take a note now once you take the note you can also go ahead and tap on save and also activate it and then you will be able to actually have it on the lock screen of your device so if you go here there you have the notes and you will be able to do that from the widgets panel right here let me just find this here will have the notes and you can just go ahead and add it right to the lock screen of your iphone and last but not least is motivation this is an app that offers motivational quotes it has home screen widgets now it has lock screen widgets as well it will display them right on your lock screen now the cool thing about this app is that you can actually have two widgets from this app and it won't show the same quote right here you can see we have two different ones and each of them will show a different one and of course they will update automatically so what you can do here is also choose the frequency on how fast they will update so you can see right here very often often or all the time which means that in minutes they will be updated and you will get new quotes which is really really cool so that's it for this video guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video and the apps if you want to download any of them make sure to check out the pinned comment you will find all the links there thank you guys for watching the video don't forget to subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one